When you think about it, the Flash's powers make him capable of doing some really terrifying stuff. When he speeds around as fast as he does, he can get away with some pretty bad stuff. It's what makes some of his speedster antagonists some of the most scary villains in the DC Universe. And it's made for a lot of terrifying moments in his history. So today we are counting down the top 10 scary Flash moments that you need to know. This is a combination of moments from the comics as well as ones from the television series. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Starting us off in at number 10, Red Death. In 2017 and 2018, DC launched a story event called Dark Knight's Metal, which saw the introduction of several alternate Earth versions of Bruce Wayne from the Dark Multiverse, which is like the regular multiverse, but evil, hence the dark in the name. These alternates were working for a demonic entity called Barbatos that wanted to destroy the regular multiverse. So how does the Flash play into this? Enter the Red Death, the combination of Batman and the Flash but obviously evil. From Earth-52, this Bruce who had lost all of his Robins and therefore used more extreme methods fought against that Earth's Flash. Barry Allen wouldn't give him his Speed Force powers and Bruce wanted them. In the chaos of their combat, Bruce and Barry are thrust into the Speed Force and forcibly fused, with Barry's consciousness being trapped inside of Bruce. With these new abilities, the Batman Flash amalgamation went around and brutally killed all of his rogues gallery, which earned him the name of the Red Death. Up next at 9, All Dolled Up. Now, For those of you familiar with the CW Arrowverse, specifically the Flash TV series, you'll likely remember this episode that we're referencing at this number. All Dolled Up is an episode that debuted a new villain to the series, Ragdoll, who has been written quite different from the comic. Now, In the show, Ragdoll is a thief, a seemingly invincible one, who has the ability to contort his body into any shape. He's actually played by a real life contortionist who appeared on America's Got Talent. Anywho, as he moves, you hear bones cracking and it's all very, very creepy. After an accident where a piece of satellite shrapnel crushes his body, he goes around with the goal of inflicting as much pain to others as he possibly can. The whole episode is pretty darn scary, and a great one at that too. But also it was released after Halloween, which was kind of an interesting choice, but… Now we've got some potential spoilers for the Flash series coming up at our next number, in at 8, Cisco's death. Another moment from the CW show for you guys here. One of the scariest moments earlier on in the series was when Harrison Wells killed Cisco. Wells stabbed the beloved character right through the heart after telling him, you have shown me what it's like to have a son. Huh. Emotional distraught right here guys. Now the stabbing, it wasn't any old stab, like with a knife, you know? No, no, no. Wells did it with his speedster arm, stabbing Cisco right through the heart in one of the most emotionally painstaking scenes that the series has ever pulled off. And it was downright terrifying to witness, especially since, for many of us, we didn't think that Wells was capable of doing something like this to Cisco. Context is everything, friends. And at number 7, Wally West's death. On the Young Justice Outsiders series, the death of Wally West at the end of the second season was one that impacted devoted fans in a heart-wrenching way, especially since the show was seemingly cancelled. Now, Perhaps the hardest part about his death wasn't witnessing it, but rather seeing the reactions of his teammates, especially Artemis, after the realization sunk in that he was gone. Luckily, Young Justice became a part of DC's new streaming service and we finally got some closure concerning his death. But for the sake of not spoiling what happened, let's get on to our next number. In at number 6, Zoom Breaks Barry's Back. Zero killers and horror or kind of go hand in hand. So when it comes to Hunter Zolomon, the evil speedster from Earth 2 on the Flash CW show, you know scary is likely on the menu. Besides from looking straight up demonic at times, there's one instance where Zoom pulled off a really terrifying number on Barry, which based off of the title of this number on our list, you probably already guessed what it is. He broke Barry's back during one of their more intense battles. And it wasn't just like a one hit break sort of situation where it just kind of happened because they were going hard in their fight. Oh no, Zoom literally plummeled the crap out of Barry, making for one of the most horrific sequences in the series to date. Speaking of Zoom though, let's take a look at him in the comics with our next number. In at 5, Trial of the Flash. The Trial of the Flash is a bit of a two-parter here. The story arc itself follows the events of Flash's arch enemy, Zoom aka Reverse Flash Eobard Thane, getting murdered by the Scarlet Speedster himself. So let's backtrack a moment. In The Flash issue 323 from 1983, Barry is getting married to Fiona Webb. And in the lead up to the wedding, Zoom begins to leave creepy messages for the hero, written in sand, that reads, guess who's going to kill your wife again. It's actually pretty terrifying. <laughs> but also, hello, obsessed psychopath much. Barry, late to the wedding of course, rushes to Fiona who's about to walk out of the church since she's been left at the altar. Seemingly so. But Barry, who dealt with a very similar situation when Zoom killed Iris when they were getting married previously, I mean, he, he took that pretty darn hard. And so he's panicked. He rushes over there just in time, but rather than just beating Zoom up like he did previously, he snapped Zoom's neck just fractions of a second before Zoom was about to kill Fiona in the exact same way that he killed Iris. Now, what follows is Barry's arrest.
protests for manslaughter and the Justice League having to decide whether or not to kick him out of the group. All in all, one of the Flash's more nerve wracking situations that he's encountered over the years. In at 4, Suicidal Killing Spree. That is a title. The premise for this one is simple. The Flash in the future turns evil, goes on a killing spree, and then goes back in time to kill himself all as a means of saving himself. It's a bit of a skewed logic, but it does make sense. Flash went evil, and in order to save himself from being evil and killing everyone again in the future, which is his present, despite killing all the villains in the future, which kind of worked out well. The only way to stop this mass tragedy from occurring is by offing himself in the past, before he turns evil, in case that part was not clear. The scariest part about this though, is the killing spree, with Barry donning a different blue outfit, taking names and literally snapping necks. This was a story that came out towards the end of the New 52, before the Rebirth reboot came about. More on reboots actually in our next number. It's also a storyline that was adapted into the CW show in its third season, but it went into a slightly different direction, with Flash deciding that he just, you know, wanted to become a god instead. In at number 3, Flashpoint. Flashpoint was a pretty major event. It reset the entirety of the DC Universe leading into the New 52 reboot, which for a long time many believed was a reboot caused by the Flash, in the canon story world that is. We all know why DC wanted to reboot their continuity, but that is not what this list is about. Rant for another day. Anywho, we now know that Barry wasn't entirely to blame for this, and it was actually Watchmen's Dr. Manhattan who played a larger role in the multiverse resetting. But that still doesn't make what went down any less scary. Now for starters, Flashpoint is a universe in which Barry's mom is still alive. But everything else is backwards and terrible. Zoom had changed time and killed Barry's mom, and the only way for Barry to save her was to go back in time. But doing so basically destroyed the world. The price of being reunited with his mother was the deaths of millions. If anything, the story is more tragic than it is scary, but the implications of what has happened is a breed of horror onto itself. And at number 2, Batman Holy Terror. Despite being a Batman story, Holy Terror contains one of the scariest interpretations of Barry Allen from an alternate universe. Holy Terror, an Elseworlds comic, was released in 1991 and takes place in a world in which the USA is run by a corrupt theocratic government. Now, Bruce Wayne plans to join the clergy, but learns more about a government conspiracy that involved the death of his parents, who were considered anti government radicals. Really, they were just helping people, treating those who had been experimented on in very extreme versions of conversion therapy experiments, botched abortions, and aversion therapy. Bruce decides to go on a crusade to hunt down those people after he's ordained to be a priest. This crusade leads him to a government facility using human guinea pigs. Including a man with super speed named Barry Allen. Barry is the product of a gene splicing process and was forced to mate with other unsuccessful versions of that gene splicing experiment, basically living a horrifying existence in this lab. I mean, at least he doesn't have it as bad as Superman in this situation. That's a whole other story, though. Sadly enough, Barry was killed by the head scientist during a conflict at the facility, so he didn't get saved after all. And last but not least, in at number one, the frozen body. Sure, murder might be real bad, but what Barry did to inertia, aka Thaddeus Thon, a clone of Bart Allen's mixed with Zoom's DNA, is ten times worse. Thaddeus turned out to be a little and stole Impulse's speed, Impulse being Bart Allen's identity at the time, which resulted in Bart Allen being gunned down by other supervillains killing him. Barry found out about this and went after Inertia. Inertia would taunt Barry with that fact, telling him, I quote, he screamed like a little b Barry, of course, wants to kill this asshat, but instead does something much worse. He steals Inertia's speed force powers, turning him into a literal representation of his alias's name. He's frozen for eternity and unblinking horror, with the only things that he can do being breathing and thinking and hearing. Immobilized permanently. If that wasn't bad enough, he puts Inertia in the Bart Allen Museum, forcing him to stare at a statue of Bart, which Barry describes as, I quote, forced to stare with eyes that take a hundred years to blink at the ghost of a man he could never be. Yikes, talk about harsh. All right, there we have it, friends. What other scary moments jolted you in Barry Allen's or any other of the Flash's past history? Let us know in those comments below. If you guys dug this video, spread that love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd if you haven't already. We'd love it if you stuck around some more. In the meantime, thanks for watching friends. I'll catch you all in the next one.